Okay. It's a thrill to be handing out this uh, uh, Juno, Rhythm and Blues. <laughs> it is one of the main foundations of rock and roll. And tonight's nominees are keeping the tradition as vibrant and energetic as it was before rock and roll was are born. The nominees for Best Rhythm and Blues slash Soul Recording. Hit and Run Lover, Yvonne Moore. Mega Mix, something extra. Memories of Moments, Devo Cates. Two can play, Wayne St. John. Somewhere Inside Your Love, Liberty Silver. And the winner is... Lost Somewhere Inside Your Love, Liberty Silver! Let's talk it out, Liberty Silver. Yes. Let's talk it out, Mama. Where are you from? Well, I just told me where you're from, but how did you get started? Well, my brother will tell you at the age of three, I put on a big floppy hat and picked up a record player. Back then they had record players. And went to my friend's house and uh, my best friend's house and forced her to sing Supreme songs. And every time she hit a wrong note, I'd hit her in the back of the head. But it wasn't until I was <laughs> with a broom, I was told. But it wasn't until later at 13, I was swimming in a pool and somebody heard me and they said, there's an audition, do you want to try out for it? So I said, okay. And I went and 12 hours later, I got the audition and 12 hours later, we jumped in the back of a van and drove to New York City and I opened up for um, Bob Marley at Madison Square Garden wow. when I was 13. Wow. Yeah. Unbelievable. <laughs>
That's what's up. So at the age of 13, you got your start at Bob Marley. I know that was a beautiful, wonderful experience for you to... It was. It was. I don't remember a whole lot because it was like I, they had paid me $100 that night and Bob Marley came up and he goes, you seem good, man. And I said, I made $100. So, <laughs> and at 13, you know, Bob Marley 13, you know. But um, it was it was a great experience. I remember that. I remember a, a wall of smoke going up as soon as he hit stage. Wow. I was like, what's that? <laughs> but a lot of great things have happened the since then. And uh, yeah, I've been opening up. I've worked with great people like... Oh my God, the OJ's cameo, SOS band, BB King, The Temptations. Uh, I've sang for Obama. I've sung for Gorbachev, presidents, kings, yeah. queens. Just the road has just been wonderful, the path, the journey. Well, and it's never ending. I mix and write and produce and engineer all my own music. And I write a lot. I um, wrote two themes for the Olympics, the Atlanta wow. the Olympics and also the Greece Olympics, the opening songs that you hear, the themes. But I write, you know, I believe that um, when you're an artist, a true artist, um, you're ordained. <laughs> and it's your, um, I won't say obligation, but your responsibility to make the best music based upon, you know, making the right decisions. And, you know, I'm just a conduit and it comes out and if it touches people, that's what it's all about for me. I'm not anxious, I'm not desperate, and I'm gonna do my music the way that it comes from me, the way that it's given to me, and that's divine for me. So when I think of myself like that, that energy goes out and I receive it.